At Hope Biosciences Research Foundation, a visionary partner is someone who sees the value of Hope's work for the future of healthcare, who thirsts to be part of it for themselves, and who leverages their time, expertise, and resources to help bring hope to a broader world. Gordon Bethune, retired Navy veteran and airline executive, whose professional titles include CEO, Continental Airlines, Vice President, Boeing, and service on the boards of multiple international corporations, is one such partner. When he walked through the doors, I could immediately tell he had Parkinson's. Uh, and so the disease had already affected his gait and his facial expressions and the way he spoke and all of those things. So I immediately recognized that, you know, he was um, sort of well in the middle of the disease process. Well, my name is Gordon Bethune, uh, retired airline guy and uh, I've had Parkinson's probably two three years I'm not sure I think you don't know you have it for a long time but you do and then you finally get diagnosed and what do they say they say what do neurologists do they say diagnose and then adios now what are you gonna do and so that was where I was when a friend Charles Moore is a retired physician my lunch buddy came across Hope Bioscience, went to visit and saw where it might help me. He got me to come and visit with the staff there, Donna and everyone, and you know, I was impressed. We started to talk about the clinical trials we had because he wanted to join one of these trials and I had to let him know that I'm sorry, sir, you are not gonna qualify in our Parkinson's disease trial because the age cutoff is 75. He was definitely not happy about that. <laughs> so I decided that something I'm willing to put my money into and put my energy into. First of all, it was credible technology and credible representatives of the industry. There's, we all read the newspaper, so all the Funko artists and fly to the Caribbean for their stem cell treatments, all BS. And um, this this wasn't. I mean, you, you couldn't ask for a nicer, more modern, technologically advanced. But at the same time, just the geographics of like when you're getting an infusion, you're in a room overlooking a lake. It's just, it's conducive to a good place to go with the staff, super pro professional, I mean, everybody is. You get to know them after a while, but at the same time, easy place, parking's available, and they're good, good people. You know, there's so much need in the world, so it can't fund it all. This is the one that it would be a major solution for millions of people, I think, were it developed something maybe universal that treats whatever causes Parkinson's and prevents it from happening. Anywhere you can get it in the prognosis of the disease, but you know, there's a lot of upside there. Somebody's got to feel, figure out a way to tap into it. I think people like Hope Biosciences will be ones that will figure it out. When I joined the Navy, I made $78 a month. That's what they paid in 1958. So I've increased my net worth considerably since then. So why not spend some of it on something that's important? He immediately says, well, Older patients deserve a chance, and I couldn't agree more. And uh, I can tell you the very next day, we had a check in our hands uh, to initiate a trial specifically for older patients with Parkinson's disease. So that was the start of PD-05, our fifth trial in Parkinson's disease that um, included patients up to the age of 95. That affects people who I like and care for today. And, you know, I've already taken care of my family, so I, why not put that money to work for somebody that needs it? And, and I get to go too. Mr. Bethune will probably never know the nine other people that were in that trial, uh, but he changed the lives of those nine people by just giving a chance at hope. What a blessing it's been. 
we hope that his radical generosity uh, really inspires other people to also give in that way and um, further this research. Here to present Mr. Bethune with a token of gratitude is Hope Biosciences Research Foundation President Donna Chang. Gordon, please come to the stage. I didn't expect that. I just, I mentioned it in the video, but my good friend, Dr. Charlie Moore is here today. I wouldn't be here if Charlie didn't say I found something for you and drug me out. Charlie, sitting over there, thank you, Dr. Moore. And there's men like, and then I look around this room and I see so many people I know and work with that actually can do more than just make a donation, but they know other people that need help and you can identify this is an opportunity, and there's so much opportunity here. And when you look at the professionalism, I've been around the block about 900 times, so you don't always get what you pay for. And here, everything is AAA plus quality standards, expertise and excellence, and it's right here in our own backyard. It's right here at home for us. And I can't think of a more fortunate the thing that has ever happened to me. I was glad, certainly, to be able to share some of that I don't only encourage you to do that. Not only everybody should write them a big check, I, I believe that. But I think you can do more than that by finding people who could use their help and promote this place and tell them where to go to seek the help that they can provide, and they, and they do. They don't even know how much help you can be. I can know that while they haven't changed water into wine for me, I'm a good grape juice right now. I'm coming a long way. And I feel really good about having that as a future than what I was looking for today. So once my, my thanks certainly to Donna and her team, most professional people I've ever met, and my thanks to you for coming out today too, thank you.